The UC Davis Mine Institute, created by families for families, has been serving the Sacramento region and beyond for 25 years. Our mission is to deepen scientific understanding of autism and other neurodevelopmental disabilities and to research ways to help ease the challenges associated with them. The Mind Institute's vision is to develop more personalized, equitable, and scientifically validated systems of support and interventions that help neurodivergent individuals live their best lives. We are known worldwide for research and clinical therapies developed for autism, fragile X syndrome, Down syndrome, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, 22Q11.2 deletion syndrome, and many rare genetic conditions that cause disabilities. We are home to several key centers and programs. A federally designated Center for Excellence in Developmental Disabilities, which works with individuals with developmental disabilities and their families to improve quality of life and advance community inclusion. An Intellectual and Developmental Disabilities Research Center, which supports research that spans disciplines and departments to provide resources to scientists to accelerate the pace of translational research. A leadership, education, and neurodevelopmental and related disabilities program. This program offers interdisciplinary leadership and service training to clinicians, families, self advocates, and community leaders involved with developmental disabilities. And finally, the UC Davis Redwood Seed Scholars Program, a first of its kind in California. It's an inclusive residential college program for students with an intellectual disability. I always want to go to college, but I know, like, you know, like, maybe not, but when I got stuck to here, I was, like, living through my old dreams. Research has always been at the core of the Mind Institute. The founding families envisioned it as a place where scientists from many different fields would come together to increase our understanding of autism and other neurodevelopmental conditions. To this day, the Mind Institute is still one of the only research centers in the world where clinicians work together in the same place as scientists studying the biology and development of the brain and behavior. And what truly unites us is our shared mission of improving the lives of the individuals and families that walk through our doors. Looking towards the future, new areas of research include the transition to adulthood and aging in individuals with neurodevelopmental conditions diagnosed in childhood. We're also focused on research that turns scientific discoveries into therapies, educational programs, and systems of support that improve lives. Meeting all the doctors here through the different studies that we're in and everybody who's working here, they've just put our mind at ease and they've led us down the right paths to get to the doctors that we need to see to help our son. Since 2020, we've expanded our clinic programs and reduced wait times to better serve the community. During the pandemic, we created a safe environment for children and adults with neurodevelopmental disabilities to get COVID vaccines that safely vaccinated over 400 individuals. We added a new clinic called Bridge, which is focused on the early diagnosis of autism in toddlers, as well as another new clinic that's dedicated to Spanish-speaking patients. To better address feeding difficulties that many children with neurodevelopmental disabilities experience, we developed a feeding recovery clinic that's staffed by developmental pediatricians, feeding therapists, and pediatric dietitians. We've also expanded our community-based initiatives to address healthcare inequities, and MIND Institute Developmental Behavioral Pediatricians are now seeing children in conjunction with their primary care medical home providers at Sacramento County Health Center, a local federally qualified health center, which includes the Circle Clinic that serves foster youth, and at Northern Valley Indian Health, a tribal health clinic center in Chico. In addition, we created a new clinic that helps patients with the transition to adulthood. Our clinic is very different from a traditional medical clinic. We really look at a holistic approach, so we look at all areas of life. We not just talk about healthcare transition, but we talk about, you know, what your goals are, what, what do you, where do you want to live, what self-help skills do you have. It's really a non-traditional medical clinic and we have a social worker and we have a community transition specialist from our USED who um, is uh, very supportive to families and they do a lot of follow-up and hand-holding even after the clinic visit. The other program we're really excited about is PATH, promoting access to healthcare. 
PATH is a new clinical program designed to decrease medical trauma and improve access to care for neurodivergent individuals. Neurodivergent individuals experience far more medical trauma in healthcare settings than their typically developing peers. This leads to unmet healthcare needs in adulthood as individuals that experience trauma begin to avoid care. The overall goal with PATH is to ensure that neurodivergent individuals are fully able to participate in their own healthcare. One of the original goals of the MIND Institute was to train the next generation of investigators from different disciplines in collaborative autism research, and we've created a vibrant environment where we can do so. Twenty years ago, we were awarded a training grant from the National Institute of Mental Health to start such a program for postdoctoral fellows. This grant, the Autism Research Training Program, or ARTP, has flourished. Over the years, the program has helped about 80 trainees to secure academic, agency, and industry research positions. This group includes 31 professors at research universities, six of whom are now faculty at Mind Institute. Complementing the ARTP is another program funded by a federal training grant called the Rise Up Program. It provides underrepresented undergraduate students with opportunities for public health leadership. Rise Up is focused on eliminating health disparities and promoting health equity. Other training programs supported by the MIND include an international training program in neurodevelopmental disabilities, which trains healthcare professionals from around the world in state-of-the-art treatment, care, and research. Through our federally funded Center of Excellence in Developmental Disabilities, we also sponsor ECHO teleconferencing programs that train clinicians and families on evidence-based practices and teaching through case-based discussion. These are offered in both English and Spanish. Finally, over the last several years, we have been expanding our clinical psychology training program, which adequately prepares the next generation of psychologists in working with persons with neurodevelopmental conditions. I definitely wouldn't be where I am now without my training at the Mind Institute. I feel so grateful to have been um, trained in so many different ways, not only clinically, but also in research and uh, leadership. Um, there are so many different things that I, I learned while I was here um, in addition to the, the clinical practice. And every time someone looked at my CV or my resume, they were like, oh, you work at the Mind Institute? And I was like, yeah. So <laughs> it was, you know, it was always a point of, of conversation during my interviews. And I know it, it was a great stepping stone to, to where I am today. The MIND interaction with the community nationally and internationally has grown from a primary goal of outreach and dissemination of information to increase collaboration and partnership with the community with a big focus on equity. We have many ways the community can learn about the research programs happening at the MIND from public talks, infographics, and sharing information at community events. We support our diverse community by hosting programs for families, clinicians, and people with disabilities. These are things like our caregiver support groups, our Spanish and English conferences, family programs like summer camp, and of course, our incredible annual thank you party. We've also been working hard to engage and partner with the community to work with us to develop research, training, and clinical programs that have greater impact and are more meaningful for the community. Community partnership is an ongoing process and we continue to learn from all of our partners about how to increase the impact of our work for all the people who need it. It's like a family. I feel like it's, it's a team and they all are work together and it's like a small family and Jordan is so comfortable with everybody that it's really helped us move forward in his struggles. It's been an exciting and impactful 25 years at the Mind Institute and I have enjoyed being a part of that. I'm also excited to see what the Mind Institute will accomplish in the next 25 years.